Hey guys, it's Jeremiah again for the third day of Watches and Wonders, but we are not at the Palexpo. Now we are at Time to Watches, looking at some other cool brands. I'm here and joined today by uh, Francois uh, Moreau, the founder and CEO of Reservoir, a brand that we love so much that we collaborated on an incredible watch, a diving watch in a bronze case, you know, with an incredible movement. And if you didn't know, um, Reservoir was founded in 2015 by Francois. He was formerly in the financial industry, but he had such a passion for watches, he felt like he wanted to start his own brand. And his whole brand is based on a complication which includes a, if you can come up close here, a jumping hour and a retrograde minutes. The design codes are very much a vintage inspired from the automotive or aeronautical world. Uh, specifically the instruments that you may find on a vintage car or a you know or a vintage plane right but Francois also has uh, some crazy ideas and uh, when did when did you uh, come up with these ideas for comics so this started uh, two years ago yes uh, well actually <clears throat> when I founded the company I had all these measuring instruments in mind so planes submarine cars motorbikes space shuttles in mind, but I also had comics because yes. I love Gerald Genta fantasy, ah, okay. and I, I think the retrograde minutes works super well yes. uh, with uh, with comics because it, it animates the character. Mm -hmm. So I had in mind some uh, uh, heroes called Blake and Mortimer, very okay. famous in Belgium and France. Okay. So you won't know uh, in Asia or in the US. I probably don't. Yeah. But uh, it's a very cool watch, and it, it just animates. Uh, Colonel Francis Blake yes. and Philip Mortimer, which is hiding uh, below the arm. And so that this was, a, was our first comic watch. Mm -hmm. We launched it last year. Mm -hmm. Fantastic success in Europe. Yes. And then we say, okay, let's let's open the game. Let's go to more international. Yeah. And uh, then we spoke with a few people on the market. And okay. we finally spoke with King Features yes. Syndicate in New York. Yes. And we launched the Popeye watch. Right here, we've got a little figurine of Popeye so right here. a little here. figurine of Popeye. Popeye, we love him because it's, he's bold, you know. Yes. He goes for, he's very determined, he's, he's just go and fight. Uh, he has a lovely uh, girlfriend, yes. which is uh, something we will design. Olive and oil. Based on that, <laughs> exactly. And so we developed uh, this collection with Label Noir in Geneva. And this is a watch that takes the Popeye character. Uh, that is so cool. Super cool, you know. Uh, so it's a grey DLC. Uh, coating with a titanium case. Yeah, 42 millimeter. Uh, 40, 41. 41, and sorry. You're, you're oh, very good. Okay. <laughs> and uh, it's super cool because, again, the, the, the character is alive. So Popeye is, is, is alive. So I just want to show you guys, as I mentioned, it's a retrograde minute but with a jumping hour. Look at that. It's an immediate jump and it seems like Popeye is arming his arm, getting ready to punch somebody. <laughs> exactly. That is so cool. Thank you very much. So that's uh, Popeye. So we made uh, it's a 200 edition, 200 yes. pieces, uh, limited edition. We manufactured the first batch of 100, sold out in two days. The second batch is uh, on waiting list, so it, it's going to go in June. And of course, we are work now working with uh, more editions of collaborations. So Popeye in in the desert, uh, yeah. Popeye in uh, playing cricket, or Popeye, yeah. uh, you know, being uh, fighting the revolution in Mexico, that kind of stuff. So yeah. a lot of localized edition. And a lot of new characters. Uh, Olivia will come, uh, will come also uh, next year. Yeah, uh, I know. I was very privileged. You showed me some of those renderings. They look incredible, incredible. So it's, mm -hmm. it's fun. You know, we are not on the drugs. You know, at Reservoir, we just love <laughs> a little bit, a little, little bit, bit. <laughs> just a little bit. No, we, we, we love. To, I mean, this is fun. This is really fun. Uh, Popeye is a great, and uh, we, we are working with Skin Features, and they, they love what we are doing because he's, he's bringing Popeye to the luxury world. Yes. Well. And in a watch which is very coherent. So, yes. Um, so again, more to come. Yeah. So comics is, you know, obviously a bit of like a side collection. It's yes. not the core collection. Absolutely. But I think we should sure. now talk a little bit about the core collection of Reservoir. Okay. And here we have the GT2 collection. Yeah. New models for the GT2. Tell us a little bit about yes. these. Yes, so GT2 is uh, one of our uh, most uh, iconic collection. It's uh, inspired by Porsche or Audi sports car, German, uh, uh, German sports car from the 80s, uh, very yes. sporty. This is an edition that comes with a, a, a carbon fiber dial. So it's a real carbon fiber, so it takes the light reflection in a very subtle way. And we added a brushed metal appliques to make it even more sporty. Mm -hmm. So re really, uh, you know, the watch that you will wear when you go and drive on the racing track on Saturday morning. Yes, so, uh, yes. Uh, and then we added a, a, a new version called the GT Tour Spring Lap. So this is a, a basically a green, a green touches. So we come with a, a, a bracelet or with a leather, with a rally strap, with a green stitching. 
Um, so again, we are not doing green because uh, green is on fashion. We're yeah. doing green because some car manufacturers, like Mercedes, they, they love green. They put green everywhere. Yeah. Uh, so we wanted to have a green uh, variation of uh, the GT2 collection. And you also can see at six o'clock, right? The power reserve indicator looks like a fuel gauge. Exactly. So yeah. when you charge up or you wind up uh, the crown, it's well, like you, you are filling up the fuel tank. Yeah, you put some fuel <laughs> in the tank. So uh, that, that's uh, that's that's very funny. Very very nice. Uh, maybe we can see yeah, what, what's yes. inside this one. What I want to show you guys is how actually the movement works. So if you can see, I've pulled out the crown already. Let's get the focus right. You can see it works on the rack and pinion mechanism right here in the center, as you can see. And then when it's nearing uh, the hour to change, there's this trigger that you just saw move up. It's arming the whole mechanism and then it jumps immediately. I can just show that to you guys again. Francois described it like a bow shooting exactly, an arrow. Yeah, it's, you know? it's a bow that you are just uh, just pulling the, the, the bow line, and then at the end you have a little finger called the snail that yes. will free up the bow, and, and then the hand bang. Yes, and it's an immediate jump, instant, you know? instant. instantaneous. So, but, but there's also, we should also mention there's a safety mechanism. So absolutely. If you, as you can see, I am turning the crown clockwise, and that's not the right direction to uh, adjust the time. But as you can see, the hand just jumps forward, very much like you're revving the engine, you know? Exactly. So, or it, yeah. It's look like putting your gearbox to neutral. Yes. That yes. means you will free the, you will disengage the, the module, so it will go, go like three wheel. Yes. So you cannot damage because uh, historically, retrograde minutes can be damaged when you go below zero. Exactly. And you're right. to avoid that, of course. And we should also probably mention that this module is a proprietary design yeah. to reservoir. Obviously, the base caliber is from uh, La Joux Paré. Absolutely. But again, with this module, it's such a cool complication. It, it's a very cool. And we, we, we succeeded in making this uh, very complex uh, module uh, at a reasonable price. We yes. Think. I mean, we've been fighting hard for that. Yes. And uh, we patented this module. So okay. uh, we are on the only yeah, one on the market. To make. Perfect. Maybe you can tell uh, tell us how much uh, is the price for the new GT2s. Uh, yes. Yeah, so uh, this one is uh, 4,000 francs okay. in, in uh, leather. 4, Euro? 000, yeah, 4,000 Euro. Euro? And dollar and Swiss francs, sure, sure. Uh, and 4,008 with the, the metal band. Okay. And this one is four. Sorry, I should know. It's around 4,006 or 4,007, okay. but okay. below 5,000. Uh, again, the, yeah, the, because the you got carbon fiber to, down. Yeah. Super hard to make. You, I know. Uh, you, you have to uh, engineer it in a very special yes. way, so it's quite quite tricky. Yes. Uh, and again, this expands the GT2 family to yes. now something like 10 models now. Mm. So, you know, we have the orange hand. Uh, yeah. Uh, the car uh, we have a carbon case yes. as well yes so uh, it's really our sporting uh, auto sport uh, collection yeah i think we should move on to the next collection yes i think you call it the uh, black sparrow can i have the black sparrow just a moment guys yes. bring it here to us the black sparrow <laughs> is flying you know so let me, share, let me share with you the story of the black sparrow okay go ahead so uh as you mentioned very well we, we are inspired by major instruments coming from yes. vintage cars planes submarines uh, in planes, we made the Warbird collection some years yes. ago called the Air Fight. Yes. And uh, I love the very vintage planes from the very early 20th century. Okay. So the, the, the pioneers of like the sky. The biplane designs, right? Exactly, yes. biplane. Yes. They have World very War I. simple, uh, uh, very uh, only two, three uh, measuring instruments, sure. very simple. Sure. And uh, with some specific codes, like yes. uh, the France often is coming from the Art Nouveau. Ah, uh, yeah, the uh, Art Nouveau, yes, yes, yes. So we, we, we took this all this design and we designed, thank you very much, we designed this collection with a new case shape, yes. new case design. So this is a meter coming, it's a very vintage meter. You can yeah. see it's a temperature uh, gauge. Temperature gauge, absolutely. And it comes with what we call the ears. And you take, you make a hole on the, the wooden uh, part of the cockpit. Mm. So it was wood, very basic. Yes. And you put four screws, mm -hmm. and then it's fixed on the on the cockpit. So we take the same idea, and we took four ears to make uh, so cool. the strap. So you can see even the the, the bolts. Uh, and then we take all the vintage uh, design codes, like uh, onion crown. Yeah, and the fluted bezel. Fluted yeah, bezel. I really like that. Uh, and the, again, you see, this is the Art Nouveau design. Yes. And we have a cathedral hand. Yes. Uh, taking as a small detail our logo yeah. actually inside the. So it's and you also have a holding plate on the uh, hour, like a screwed in uh, plate. Exactly. Yeah. So you have two screws here. They are fake screws, of course. Yes. Again, they replicate the, the spirit. Sure. You will find this construction against text with the below the, the the bezel. You will find the casing, and then you have a like a, the, the the core base of the the instrument. Yes. And we find here 
uh, the serial number, so it's like an identi uh, identification yes, plane of, yes. of the plane. So again, we take this design uh, and we make it with uh, straps. So this is made in France. This is very high quality uh, leather. Yes. Uh, very, very soft, very nice to wear. Mm. We have also a second strap, which is a natto, very vintage, very yeah. uh, a leather natto. Leather natto, yeah. yeah. Uh, leather natto, we just cut the leather. Okay. No stitching, nothing. It's just really, really rough. Okay. And then we also have this. I love this dial. Check this out. Even right. more vintage. Uh, again, taking all this code. Uh, this is a, again, very nice uh, strap. And you can see the, the metal reflection, so it's satinated and brushed. Um, and again, we find this, uh, this code with, uh, with the satinated. And then we have a third version. Yes, which last is one. The same as the black, but with a, with a steel. Uh, because some, some prefer, even in the team, some prefer you know, yes. the steel, some prefer yes. the black. So I mean, this is the closest you know, to the inspiration, but this, this looks very cool. This, this well. is very cool. Yeah. Uh, and some, for some clients, steel is, is easier to wear. Yeah. Yeah. And because the, the clay shape is quite original, uh, the steel makes it a bit less, uh, you know, uh, le a bit more consensual than the black. But the black is, is super technical, very, uh, very nice, very, very tech watch and, and plain pilot watch. So this collection is called Black Sparrow. Yes. And uh, we, we have uh, uh, on the, um, the inspiration coming from a pilot com called Eugene Bullard, yes. which was a hero of World War One, mm. American, Afro-American uh, pilot, yes. volunteering in the French army, mm -hmm. and he fought the German with the French. Yeah. So uh, a lot of respect for that. And this guy was uh, uh, so brave. Uh, you know, he shoot many German, mm -hmm. uh, not against German, but yeah. you know, he was on our side. Yeah, yeah, so yeah I know. That's, uh, that's the way it was. <laughs> yes. And uh, his his, uh, his sentence was "All blood runs red." Runs uh, red because he suffered yes. a lot from racism because he was yes. a black guy. Yeah, uh, we are all the same despite our skin color. Exactly. Yes. This guy is, was, you know, a great uh, character. Yeah. Uh, he, he founded a, a jazz club in New York. So, yeah. Uh, we have a lot of respect for that kind of mm -hmm. hero. And Reservoir is not ju not just measuring instrument. Yes. It's the, the adventures, you know, yeah. the, the adrenaline you get when you, you fight in your B plan, you know, playing against mm -hmm. the, the, the tough and the, the very strong German as yeah. well. So it's what they lived, what they experienced that we try to uh, reflect in our in our collections. Mm. Francois, can we also see what's on your wrist? Because I saw it's a, a this, very, very cool chronograph. Well, this one, <laughs> so I, I show it just, just like that. Yeah. Tang, tang. This is coming. We, we can only tease a little bit. Yeah, yes. sorry about that. <laughs> it's, this will be revealed uh, in summertime. Yes. It's a, it's a our B retrograde chronograph, yes. seven hands. So in yes. reservoir, you have either one hand or seven, seven hands. <laughs> your, your call. <laughs> and this is a very cool watch inspired by the Warbirds. Yes. Uh, and the fuel gauge that comes with a, a color codes, a green, orange, red. Yes. With these two B retrograde. Yes. And a very nice uh, bezel. Again, a very p pilot watch, but more modern. Mm. So, uh, so a little bit of patience, but it's coming in, uh, in, in summertime. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's so exciting. Thank you for taking the time to talk to us. I think Reservoir is a really cool brand. It's Thank really you. fun. It's doing something that, you know, it's different from many other watch brands. It's unique and you know you can clearly see your passion for the watches. I would just end off by saying that I've been very privileged to also see that there may be another Popeye edition uh, made with some other artists also you know collaborating together you know with uh, you know with a very very cool theme behind it and uh, you know we can't wait to present it to you and uh, we're so lucky we co collaborated once on the hydrosphere yeah. an incredible watch. We're gonna collaborate again. Yeah, I'm sure we will. Uh, some some ideas floating in here, you know. Yeah. Um, and uh, coming soon. Yeah. All right. Thank you so much, guys, for watching, and uh, we'll see you soon. Take care. Thank bye you. Bye.